Well, episode number one. Um, I've been thinking so long to do this. <laughs> but, and I actually recorded an episode in December to try it out and maybe edit, but I never did. <laughs> so this time we'll ignore the editing and uh, try to do it um, one more time and see if we can put this episode out. Uh, the first one I tried doing it in Swedish and this time I'll try do it in, to do it in English. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, my name is uh, Linda. Uh, I usually go by Lissadus or Sudrasil online. Um, my Instagram is uh, Sudrasil. And on Ravelry you can find me as Lissadus. I'll um, link it in the description below. And I'll try to put all the yarn and, my, well, at least links to my Ravelry pages for the things I talk about. Um, let's start with what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing my house cardigan um, from the book. From the book. What's the name of the book? And Knitting Magic, the official Harry Potter knitting pattern book. And of course I made uh, the Hufflepuff version. It's knitted in Tweed Delight and the colors are, the main color is number 30. Which is uh, Scoria, I think. The black is uh, Oak. Black Opal, number four, and the yellow is number 10, Dijon. Uh, this is one of my favorite yarns. It's so warm and comfy, and I've knitted a lot in it. One bad part is that it has a tendency to pill. Uh, I didn't depill this, just to show you, but it pills a lot. But it's really comfy and it's really warm, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, the other thing I'm wearing is my um, first tank top I knitted. I'm just gonna go to the project page. Uh, it's called Fern Soma Singlet, and it's a really cropped top with buttons in back. Um, it's from uh, Rauma Garn and I knitted this in a yarn from uh, Kvitlamet in Norway. Let's see if we can... So it's, uh, it's the exclusive posh yarn in the color Mosseteppe. And it's 50% merino and 50% silk. And it's really soft. Really, really soft. And I really love the tonality in it. I'm not really happy with this one. Um, we'll see if I start liking it or not. Uh, it's a bit too short for my taste. It works with high-waisted jeans, so we'll see. I don't wear pants a lot. I usually wear, usually wear dresses. So we'll see how much it gives use. It's really comfy. It's just that it's too short for my taste. Uh, so that was what I'm wearing. Another finished object that I finished this weekend is my skutan shawl it was really fun to knit because you started you started at this little end and then you knitted stripes and then you do short rows to get the yeah the bigger gray areas 
it was nice knit. It was uh, simple enough to watch TV at the same time, uh, but still it was a, a little bit happening with the stripes and uh, the short clothes. So the yarn I used for this one, it's uh, Uruguayan wool yarn. It's a merino, 100% lana merino, well, merino wool from uh, Uruguay. Uh, I got this as a gift from my cousin's kids when they came visiting uh, this winter. And this is the label. Does it focus? Well, you can find everything in, in the link. So it's a DK yarn. And the white is, let's see which one was the white, I think it was Crudo number 18 and the grey is Habana number 4. Uh, the Scutan shawl is, I'm just gonna pause. Okay, had to pause for a bit there. Husband came down. So this, when we're talking about the shawl, yes. This is the yarn I have left. I had two skeins of each. Skeins? Skeins? I don't know. How do you say it? <laughs> skeins, I think. Uh, so I had 195 grams of the white and 192 grams of the grey. So now I have to figure out what to do with the rest. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I bought a litter scale that arrived yesterday uh, so I can see exactly how much I have left and um, we'll see what we do with it. It's really cozy. Um, when I do this it's a little bit scratchy but there's no problem for me having it uh, straight to my neck. So. That's nice. My first shawl ever. Um, oh, and this is my project bag. It's a glossing bag. And my tag. Uh, this is the size medium of... Uh, what is it called? I'll link the pattern down below. I need to stop moving too much because I get too close to the camera. Um, I think that's it. I did make a pair of uh, a pair of socks as well that I finished in uh, January with the um, yarn I got from my secret Santa, well, my brother. Um, he was uh, Viking up Norway, Arova which is also a DK yarn. So I got a white one and a blue striped one. Uh, which one is which? Oh, the white one is colorway 600 and the blue one is 625. So I finished those, they're upstairs, I think. Totally forgot those. <clears throat> Okay, I think that's it for the finished ones. Yeah. I did finish, uh, what do you call it? A neck warmer for my daughter as well, in also in Tweed Delight, but in color 27, Wisteria Bloom. She thinks the yarn is a little bit scratchy, so she has, um, Jersey um, neck warmer underneath. What's it called in English? Oh, never mind. Um, so we'll see. I have to find some yarn that works with her. Yeah. What is it, Kiba? Kitty came. <laughs> He's like, why are you talking? Leave me alone. I want to sleep. Okay, so I do have a few work in progress and the first one 
There's also an, an um, tweed delight in these colors. So the white one is 01. Is it upside down? It's up. No, I think it's the right way. It won't focus properly in one way. And this, I don't know, raspberry red is color 12. So the Tweed Delight is from Hobby uh, and it's 85% wool, 10% acrylic, 5% viscose. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, the 12 is called the Pomegranate. And the white is white marble. I made a similar, well, exactly the same cardigan as I'm making now, but in a different color for myself, uh, which I use all the time. <laughs> and this one I'm making for my brother's. Well, not wife, they're not married. They live together, they have kids together, but they're not married. So much sinners, right? <laughs> well, actually, we, me and my husband got married like 2020. And my our oldest kid is turning 11 this year. This is Strömse Kofta. <clears throat> um, it's, it's a... Swedish Finnish show, TV show. Uh, I've never watched it. Uh, and the, it's it's a like do-it-yourself show or something like that. And the pattern, the colorwork pattern is uh, based on, you know, on the porch of the house, you have this uh, fence <laughs> and uh, it's basically the pattern they use for this one. So that's, well, we'll see when I finish it. Um, I finished the sleeve in one, two days. Um, so it's only the other sleeve and the bottom bands and then I'll stick it. Mm. The goal is, to, yeah, I keep her. <laughs> Meow. Mm, need to pet the kitty. <laughs> Um, I have it in my mood bag I got from my husband in, what was it, Valentine's Day or wedding anniversary gift maybe? Anniversary gift, I think it was, yeah, yeah, he's really good at giving gifts, I'm not as good. <laughs> um, I dropped my needles, oops, let's shove it down there again. The goal is to have it done by Easter because then we'll probably go to them since it's their daughter's birthday then. Um, I might finish it here earlier. I said that I told myself I had to finish one sleeve before I cast something new on. Uh, so I did. Wait, I finished the sleeve. Yesterday, yes, yesterday. Um, but I couldn't buy a new pattern yesterday. I was not allowed. I probably can buy it today or tomorrow. We'll see. What else do I have on the needles? Um, I have two pairs of socks. Uh, one vanilla pair and one colorwork pair. So let's start with the vanilla. Uh, again, it's... Uh, Hobby yarn is their Christmas. Oh, I didn't write which colorway it was, but it's their Christmas yarn from 2022 uh, with Stalina in it. And <laughs> I'm knitting it two at a time. I haven't gotten that far. Um, but it's from my husband. Um, he, I think I knitted one pair of socks for him, and it was. Um, in uh, raggy, so they're thick socks. 
So I promise him I will make a pair of thinner socks so we can see if we can get the size to fit him. Um, so I cast on 72 stitches. I don't know, I just lost my sock mojo for a while there. Uh, we'll see. They're, they're pretty fast in it if I just knit on them, but there's so many other things I want to do. <laughs> uh, he doesn't care that they're not the same, so I'm not even gonna bother. Um, who cares? It's on your feet. I don't care. I'll see if I can find the colorway. Well, anyway, I, I'm not sure if you can get them now anyway, so we'll see. So that's a pair of vanilla socks. And the other pair of socks, they've been hibernating for a while. I bought this yarn when me and my friend were went to uh, Gothenburg for um, Sea Festival in, was it August last year? Yeah, August. And it's opal yarn in black, which is 3382, and opal surprise in 4061. Oh wait, the black is just called black. It's dial up 3382. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm making not your average cat lady sock by Emma LK. I'm not one for animal patterning, but I just felt that <laughs> with this color it would be pretty fun to do. So I stopped <clears throat> where the marker is, which is on the foot after the gusset decreases. I did modify the pattern a bit because it's an afterthought, afterthought heel, but I prefer the heel flap and gusset. Oh, it's so hard to show in the black. So I made a heel, flip, fl uh, <laughs> heel flap and gusset, and I decided to make it stripes underneath the foot because I couldn't be bothered recounting and trying to get the patterning right. So now on the foot I only make the leopard print on top and stripes on the bottom. So we'll see if I'm a good girl and finish these this spring. I really want them, they're fun. Um, and again two at a time. So it's <laughs> it tends to get messed up with the yarn but eh, it's not that bad so that's the other pair of socks I have on my needles oh and you want to know the needle size on the opal socks I use 2.5 and I think it's the same on these let's see yeah 2.5 on both um, There. And one more work in progress. Uh, this is another, it's the same, was this a Kanto drawstring bag maybe or something? On Etsy. I'll, I'll link it below. This is the small bag. Um, and in here we have the muscle burp. And my cat is meowing again. <laughs> I think he He's telling me he went to the toilet or uh, there's a hole in her his food. Uh, muscle blur hat and I'm actually it's for my husband again and he couldn't decide between this brown just let me get the other color one second okay muscle blur so Unicorn Solid was on sale on Hobby now in January and I never tried that. It's a sock yarn uh, and he wanted a hat 
but he couldn't decide between this brown or this caramel. This one is gorgeous. Both are nice, really nice. So when we got them, he still couldn't decide. So I said, well, I can make half. It's a muscle burr. It's like I make the ha half of the half in the hazel, which is number two, 22. And I'll make half the hat in caramel, which is 21. And hopefully it will be enough for a hat for me. We'll see. His head is bigger than mine, so... <laughs> we'll see. I haven't gotten that far. Um, the pasta increases. And... A little bit more. Two centimeters, three maybe. I need to stop moving. <laughs> I keep getting on top of the <laughs> camera. So that's the muscle blower hat. Um, first time knitting it. Um, it's usually my on the go project. So I usually have socks or something easy on the go. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay, that's... Oh wait, I forgot one more project. It's not knitting, it's crochet. Uh, my daughter wanted a blanket in another hobby yarn. Uh, it's their Go Handmade Bohemian Velvet Double. And I have the yarn here at least, so we'll start with that. And I started with knitting it, but I didn't get very far. I was boring. It was taking so long time. And I kind of had the itch to start crocheting again, which I haven't done in a few years. <laughs> Seven, maybe, years or something. Uh, anyway, she found this yarn. It's 100% uh, polyester. It's really cozy. Um, so we have color lavender I need to move my face sorry oh sorry about that green velvet double and the color let's see where's the camera Ooh, I'm focus come on focus oh it's still focusing on my arms anyway uh, this is item number 17636 is the lavender and then we have the plum it's color 17622 and we have the color dark lavender which is 17637 so these three colors is the one I'm using for her blanket. She loves purple and she chose this one by herself, but I didn't want to have it only in one color, so I took the other two. And I'm crocheting the Easy Ripple Afghan. Just let me, I'm just gonna get that project. <laughs> Took a sip of my iced coffee as well. I'm using 5.5 millimeters and this is, let's see, on the right side. Which one is the right side? Wrong side. That's the wrong side. <laughs> and this is what I've done so far. So each each color field is one ball of yarn and I have six, six balls of each, yeah, one, two, three, four, so um, we'll see, we'll see how long I can make it if I have to order more or not. She's hoping to get this for her birthday in the end of May. Uh, we'll see. 
it's pretty fast to crochet on uh, but I want to knit the other stuff <laughs> such a bad person bad mommy bad mommy uh, well easy ripple of Afghan by Susan B and I think that was a free pattern right yeah it's a free pattern We'll see <clears throat> how it goes when it's done. I thought if I show it here, I'll have to crochet on it more. So maybe I'll get it finished. Hopefully. Uh, let's put it over here. Okay, so let's talk about plants. There's two projects or at least one of them. Well, two projects I plan to cast on like this week or weekend. I just need to buy the patterns. And I'm since all of my current projects are stockinette knitting at the moment, I wanted something with a little bit more mm, more demanding. <laughs> so I think because I got I got four balls of um, alpaca mix drops of alpaca mix for is it Christmas? No, it must have been it must have been my birthday. Yeah. So I'm thinking. I don't use sweaters because I get overheated. Uh, I only use cardigans because it's fast to throw on and fast to throw up. But I've been wanting to try to knit a sweater. Um, and maybe alpaca is not the best choice because it's so warm. But I'm thinking to... I, I think I'm gonna make a ranunculus in this. And I figured if it doesn't work out for me uh, because I overheat and it's just too much of a pain to throw it on or off, I can always gift it to someone. Um, I have my my brother's girlfriend. Well, I have both my brother's girlfriends uh, that are similar to my size. Uh, it will be a little bit big on the one I'm knitting the cardigan for, but she, she likes them big, so that's no issue. Uh, and I also have my brother-in-law's wife and I think all of them appreciate I, well I know all of them all three of them appreciate um, knitted garments um, so if I don't use it I can always gift it to one of them maybe not they, they maybe they won't like green that much oh we'll see I don't know. I'll do something so my plan is ever an uncleless with this is four balls enough? Should be. I don't want it that oversized uh, anyway, so so we'll see. Um, it's, it's, it will be fun to throw a cast it on and see because everyone I've seen on, on YouTube who <laughs> You know, being like, ah, oh, why is everyone so crazy about it? And then they knit them themselves and they're like, wow. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna join the popular crowd, you know. So, Ronanculus. And the other project is a second shawl. Uh, I bought this yarn in Norway. Oh, what's the name of the yarn store? Well, a yarn store in Moss. Uh, not the same yarn store where I bought this one. Um, sorry, I cannot. But this yarn I also got in Moss. But Kvitlamet has a store in Ashim. And now, uh, what's it called? A brick and mortar shop in Skifet as well. 
uh, but this one I got in a different yarn store in, in Moss and it's uh, Manos del Uruguay Marina in the color Sangre. They had a green and they had this red one uh, and they had it had both of them knitted up in uh, two lace shawls and they were gorgeous and I just couldn't resist. Uh, and I did tell you that the first shawl, uh, excuse me, was my first ever shawl. So I just thought, well, I bought this yarn last summer and I've been planning to knit a lace shawl of some sort with it. And I've been looking at shawls and trying to decide what pattern to use and stuff like that. And the other day when I was looking for, was it shawl pattern for the one I knitted? I can't remember. Anyway, I saw the pattern Waiting for Rain, it's called. I can just get the cue up. Waiting for Rain, which is lace and knitting. <laughs> oh my god, what's it called? Stock knit is the, the plain one. The, the fun part is, I usually knit English patterns, so I should know this. Oh, well, anyway. Ah, garter. <laughs> garter stitch. Uh, lace sections in it like short rolls and I just thought it, w it looked so much so much fun but not entirely lace so we'll see and we'll see if one skein of marina is enough oh it has to be enough because I only have one <laughs> So that's my immediate plan, a ranunculus and waiting for rain. When we bought yarn for the Musselberg hat, I also bought some more, I'm sorry kitty, <laughs> some more um, unicorn solid since it was on sale. And because after this one, I decided, well, I need to make a few more tops, tank tops, and I've been thinking, so I was thinking camisole number nine is a really basic tank top, um, and then I saw the mini mock neck tank that um, someone made. But they didn't make it that high in the neck because I don't like things on my neck. So they skipped the high, high neck. Uh, oh, what's her name? And then I was watching uh, Athena and her vine top. I was watching all the episodes from the beginning and her vine top. I was like, damn it, now I want to make the vine top. So we'll see, I have three camisoles, but only yarn for two at the moment. But I had this much left of the Mosse Tepe. And I think if I buy one more skein of this, if they still have it, when I go into Norway in three weeks, Three weeks? Yeah. I might be able to make one more top out of this. So then I can make all three of them, right? The other two colors I bought is this burgundy. Mm, yeah. It's color 16. Again, Unicorn Solid from Hobby and it's 75% virgin wool and 25% polyamide. Uh, 
And it's really a nice burgundy. It, it's really wine red. But a little goes towards purple, I guess. Um, but it's still wine red. If we compare it to my red marina. Let's see. There's some colors in it. It's hard to... I always find it very hard to capture red tones on uh, on the camera. Always. So that's red. And then I got, I think this was called green tea and it's color 26. I think you see a theme. I kind of like green. <laughs> My favorite colors are green, red, yellow, orange, well, rust. It's the autumn colors are my totally my favorites. The only question is, well, vine top, I need to make a green one. And I would prefer, I think, to make it in the marina silk. But I need to check how much yarn, because on one hand of this cost 290 Norwegian crowns, which is the same in Swedish now because uh, Swedish crowns now because it's the same. Oh, oh it's one to one basically. Uh, but still, it's it's 290 for one hank. If I need to buy two, that's gonna be 600 more plus. Well, if I need three skeins, it's gonna be a 900 crowns, basically. Uh, well, 800 something uh, tank top. Mm, well, it's it's silk, so we'll see. But I need to plan it out before I go because the unicorn solid I can get more of. That's no issue since it's hobby. Cheat Lamet will be a little bit harder for me to get since it's Norway. Uh, I do think she, she has an online shop, so I do think she'll ship to Sweden. But it'll probably cost uh, a lot for the shipping as well. So we'll see. Um, yeah, that's my plans for now. Oh, 38 minutes. I've been talking for a good while. I think the first time I, I tried to record, I was like 15 minutes and I talked really, really fast and just didn't go well. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that's it. I do have some other plants that I have yarn for. Uh, another Strömsekofta for my brother-in-law's wife. But that one I won't aim until Christmas because I think this year we'll celebrate Christmas with them. So I'm planning to make that for Christmas for her. And then I have a, another, well, I used, I'll use this Swimsukoftan as the base, but I found some uh, Star Wars. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a Star Wars card again um, for myself in also Tweedalite. All of them are in Tweedalite, um, but I'm gonna use Marshland and Latte for my Star Wars card again. And then we'll see. That's the plans I have. And socks. Um, there's always socks on my needles. Uh, it's just that at the moment I haven't felt like knitting on the socks too much. But I have a lot of sock yarn and behind me, you can see my uh, advent calendar from, um, yeah, my memories from the Stiko Spin, Erin uh, Skjone, basically my neighbor. You get it? Oh, that's my advent calendar from her. Whoops, it fell over. <laughs> so we got 10 gram minis. And then we got four full skeins. 
So we had one slate stock, which is 75% wool and 25% polyamide. Um, we have merino sock, which is 75% merino and 80, no, 25% <laughs> nylon. Then we had glitter sock, which is 75% merino, 20% nylon, 5% selena. And it's green, I love it. Definitely the socks for me. And we have zebra sock, which is 80% merino, 20% nylon. And this is definitely my daughter's color. She loves purple, not that much pink, but she loves the purple. So she, she wants this one. And she doesn't like the socks, knitted socks she's really sensitive but she wants me to knit uh, leg warmers and I figured yeah why not um, although the yarn is very soft so maybe she could use them as socks but she wants leg warmers it's better to make her something she like wants and will use so so we'll make leg warmers for her I do have more yarn from Stiko Spin for socks and stuff. Uh, guys, I have, I have so much sock yarn, I need to make socks. And soon I'm going to Norway. And I know we plan a visit to Kvitlamet. But I'm gonna be good and plan. If I don't have a plan for it, I'm not gonna buy it because I have two bags with sock yarn <laughs> behind me. Uh, mostly Opal yarn. Uh, I have one Sauber ball, a lot of indie dyed yarns. Um, so I'm not gonna buy more single skeins unless it's for a muscle burger or a hat. So I need to have a clear plan if I buy yarn. Even if it's get it cheap or there's a sale, I need that because I have limited space for my yarn. Uh, upstairs in our uh, computer room slash sewing room, I have a big Calex shelf. Uh, I think it's what is it five times four, or is it five times five? Well, anyway, it's basically filled with fabrics because I used to sew a lot. Uh, at the moment, my overlock is uh, in need of dire need of service, so I haven't sewn that much. I made the bags basically because then I, I don't need my surgeon for this. I just just use my ordinary sewing machine. So I plan to make a few more bags. Oh, I need to do that soon because it's my mom's birthday in February. And I plan to make a project bag for her. She doesn't knit, she crochets. And uh, contrary to me, I need a pattern if I'm supposed to make something. Uh, if I have a pattern, I don't have any, any issues making something. But I cannot figure out how to do it without one. My mom, on the other hand, she crochets with, well, you know, how to do this and how to do that. She, she's on the contrary cannot follow a pattern uh, unless it's a movie uh, a film on youtube she watch uh, and then she follows along that uh, so it's very fun I, i'm thinking some yarn and a project bag for her uh, i don't know if she needs yarn she got she received a, a lot of yarn from my mother-in-law and my grandma-in-law well, mom. so maybe she doesn't need yarn we'll see I did buy some more Tweed Delight in the light purple for oh, was it? Wisteria for my daughter. And she's like, oh no, it's itchy. I was like, oh, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't use purple myself. And the amount I ordered was basically for kid size. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I give it to my mom or maybe I'll knit something up. And she can use it on top of something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I need to find some yarn that's not itchy, but preferably 
some kind of wall. Uh, I'm thinking maybe you know, might work for her, for her. Uh, so we'll see if I can find something. Anyway, I see I just passed 45 minutes. Uh, I'll probably not edit this at all, uh, except for when I took pauses, but I just paused it on the phone. Because if I, if I decide I want to edit this, the risk is I will not post it. So we'll just go with it. I did film two shorter movies, three, two, two shorter movies. One showing off the Fern Sommer singlet and the other one showing off uh, the Skutan shawl. So we'll see. Maybe I, <laughs> if it's easy, I'll add them into the movie. Uh, if I can't figure it out right away, uh, my mind won't agree to it. And then I might add them as shorts instead, or reels on Instagram. We'll see. We'll see what I do. Yeah. That's it. I do hope my camera did pick up all the sound. Uh, well, not all the sound around, but at least me speaking. If not, I'm gonna be so sad because I've been sitting here for 45 minutes talking to myself, well, to the camera. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see if I'll keep, and I'll do another movie, well, maybe another one clip for February, what I made in February. I won't post that often because I usually work Monday to Friday. I'm homesick today. Um, so the only time I have to film when it's light, well, it's starting to get lighter now, so maybe I can film in the afternoon, but I'm so tired after work. So it's the weekends and then the kids are at home as well. and. Uh, we all know kids. <laughs> it's like, oh, you feel me? I want to join. Anyway, uh, if anyone watches this, thank you. Uh, hopefully I'll be back. It's mostly for myself anyway, so uh, we'll see. Have a nice day, evening, weekend, week, whatever. Uh, and uh, I'll see you another time. Bye.